And this is where we learn the most disgusting part of Freddy's backstory. This is the moment where Kruger became an official pedophile. Pictures of. They're all you. Want to see? No. No. not after us because we lied. <laughs> He's after us because we told the truth. Hmm. Yeah, I know the whole molestation thing uh, was part of Wes Craven's original idea for Freddy, but it didn't become on-screen canon until just now. And it's just... I don't know, man. It's a lot to deal with. He brought us here so that we would remember what he did to us. I know, Quinn. Fuck. I know. What does he want from us? He's never gonna stop. Yeah, but what I want to know is, uh, since 2010 Freddy's not a killer like uh, uh, original Freddy, then why the hell... I mean, uh, since 2010, Freddy isn't the killer like either uh, original Freddy or Wes Craven's new Nightmare Freddy, then why the fuck does he have the glove? The glove is pointless. Eh, the glove is pointless, and it's only there because it has to be. And it looks like he's got a weapon to fight Freddy. Or rather, the hell, Nancy fight Freddy? I don't know.
Good thing he had a weapon. Good thing he had a weapon. Your girlfriend's here. I'll be right back. Is that you, Bill Cosby? Little Nancy, now that you got me, what game do you want to play next? Fuck you. Ooh, sounds like fun. That's not even a game. That's not even a game, Freddy. <laughs> oh, I love what you're doing with the place, Dick. Uh, decorating up some dead bodies really ties the boiler room together. Uh, but much like with the glove, the boiler room is pointless, and, and it's only there because uh, it has to be, because uh, the remake uh, is pretty well established that, uh, that Freddy killed uh, or killed and or molested the kids uh, uh, in the basement of, uh, of the boiler room. No, not killed, since he's not a killer anymore, but molested the kids in the boiler room. Oh, yes, because when you're hiding for boogeyman, uh, the closet is the best place to be. Also, this shot of, this shot of 20, this shot of 2010 Freddy almost makes him look like Robert England Freddy, right? He's right next to you in five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three. He's right next to you. He's right next to you in five. Ah, oh, there we go. See, this kind of thing happens when you don't have a sledgehammer. How's this for a wet dream? That line was another Freddy movie. That means this movie bad. Sure, this won't get creepy. Just a fashion critic. Your mouth says no, but your body says yes. Mm -hmm. He's going to bang that dress. He's gonna bang that dress. <laughs> He's gonna bang that dress. That's what we 
to my ears. I want to wake up! Wake up, Nancy! Wake up! We're gonna be in here a long time. Nancy, please! Do you really think your boyfriend could wake you up? Please, don't do this! Please! I'm your boyfriend now. Nancy, come back! Please, wake up! You promise! Yeah, Quentin, I think it's time for you to use the EpiPen or whatever it is. Sweet dreams. Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 this at least, at least Quentin does a hell of a lot more than Glenn No, why don't you just fucking die? It hurts, doesn't it? It's because you're in my world now, bitch Oh uh, yeah, let's steal the lines of Freddy vs. Jason No because uh, we haven't stolen anything else from anything, uh, older. Nancy, Nancy then got three years in jail for arson, or prison. <laughs> Nancy spent three years for arson. Let's not go anywhere. 